A deauthor is a device that sends deauthentication packets to a selected network. This will prevent new connections to the network and also prevent traffic to those devices already connected. This tool can also enable you to do some other cool things like creating and spamming SSIDs. The hardware hosting the web service and carrying out the attack is this. This is an ESP8266, a low cost device that you can get from eBay, AliExpress and even Amazon. Costs will range from about £2 to £4 each. The version we're using has a micro USB input and GPIO pins, but we won't be using them for this. The software we'll be using is the ESP8266 deauthor made by Spaceharm on GitHub. As always, links and more detailed instructions can be found on the blog page. First connect your phone to the wireless network called Pwned with the password deauthor. Then go to the URL deauth.me and you'll be presented with this information page. The guys that work hard on this do a great job so check them out. Hit the I have read and understood button and you'll be taken to a scan page. Here is the main page for scanning. You have options to scan access points, stations or device specific attacks. Here we're going to click scan APs. The light on the device will turn blue and then turn off. When that happens, hit the refresh button. Here you can see a bunch of access points that were found. I'm going to select my own router, which is named LA Home, and scroll up and hit attacks. To launch a deauth attack, hit the start button. You will see that I'm connected to the network, and if I go to reload this Google page, it seems to attempt to connect, but only half load the page. Going directly to google.com takes a while and as you can see, eventually times out. Now we'll hit stop on the do offer and as you can see, the internet is restored. Now let's look at cloning SSIDs. Click the scan button on the top page, make sure your target network is selected. Then click the SSID tab at the top, scroll down and hit clone selected APs. Then go to the attack tab and hit start next to the beacon attack. Within a few seconds you'll see the target network has been cloned and will be spamming the Wi-Fi range. Again hitting stop will return things to normal. You can also spoof an SSID. To do this, head back to the SSID tab, scroll to the bottom and click remove all. Then head back up to the top, enter the name of the network and click add. Then scroll back down to the bottom and click save. Again, go back to the attacks tab and this time hit start under the beacons tab. You'll start to see the spoof network appears within range. You can also make the spoof network appear secured by going back to the SSID tab, add in the network, but this time clicking the WPA2 box. This time, the network will appear to be password protected. Connecting to this network shows a login box. If we're to fill in this box and click connect, after some time, the connection just times out. One last hack you can do is to spam Wi-Fi SSIDs. To do this, head back to SSIDs tab, and this time, hit the button that says enable random mode. This will begin spamming lots of different SSIDs. Very annoying.